afternoon, everyone. I am super thrilled, excited to unveil a new ad product today. You know, I represent the broadcast business of Disney Star, the entertainment portfolio. Today, I take this opportunity to unveil a new ad product which will enable brands to reach out to the most premium consumer cohort in the eight metros. All of you are aware that today premiumization is the trend that is very visible across all advertisers. Be it any category, whether it is automobile, consumer durable, and even CPG for that matter, it is the premium brands which is at the top of the price hierarchy that is driving the top line for organizations. What does it mean? Because of the premiumization, it has become super important for sharper targeting for brands to the affluent audiences. At the same time, I've been in this industry for the last almost 20 years. What I have seen 10 years ago, at that point of time, we had a pretty large English entertainment portfolio and the addix was roughly about 2,000 to 2,500 crore. That disappeared in the last five or six years. And it was perceived to be reaching out to only the premium affluent consumers in the market. And advertisers have this perception that tel advertising on linear television gives massive spillover. TV has about 900 million you know, reach. And if a brand wants to reach out only to the premium cohort, this 900 million reach is considered to be spillover. And because of this reach, us broadcasters would always be pricing for this 900 million that we are reaching out to. So it became prohibitively expensive for brands that only want to reach out to the premium audiences. And they also believed that linear television lacked targeting capabilities. All of these were the reasons for some of the brands that we have seen 10 years ago on television for having moved out of television and taking other mediums that is perceived to be offering targeting capabilities. So today, like I mentioned, we are unveiling a new ad product in collaboration with Tata Play that will allow premium audience targeting on linear television through our high definition channels. And it will address the advertiser's need for targeting the premium consumers in the markets that they want to reach them, which is the top eight metros. And why Tata Play? You are aware that Tata Play is the leading DTH uh, player in the market in India. And ever since their launch in the country, they have a significant consumer base or a subscri subscriber base that pays a higher ARPU than the average cable bill that a consumer pays. And if you look at this number, if Tata Play ARPU for their total overall consumer base is X. This consumer base of high definition channels in the eight metros is 2.25 X. Today we are in the middle of every single day, you and I keep reading about how the CTV audience is growing, right? We have a certain number where in CTV base, the wired broadband connection in the country is, let's say 35 or 36 million, which is both households and commercial establishments put together. And in that 35 million, we don't know how many household is that CTV household. And even if it is a CTV household, we are also aware of the fact that most of the OTT platforms do not even allow an, a brand to an opportunity to advertise and reach out to its premium consumer base. So what we are offering is this 2.25x ARPU, if I were to further define it, this is somewhere upwards of 600, 650 rupees per month. We have gone through NTO, and during that NTO, what really happened for people like you and I, we got an opportunity to choose, pick and choose the channels that we want to consume. 
At some point, we were paying a lot of money. Some of us were watching TV, some of us were not watching TV. NTO gave us an opportunity to choose the channels that we want. It has been a while since NTO got implemented. Today, whoever is available on television is a voluntary subscription. They have chosen to be on the linear TV subscription. They've chosen to consume these channels because they follow these content and characters that we put out for them. And hence, a 600 rupee ARPU, to give you, put some perspective to that, the top three OTT platforms put together, if you were to take a subscription, it is much lower than the 600 rupees. So that is how affluent this consumer cohort is. It's a family audience. They prefer to come and watch this content And how does this work? You and I know that television is broadcast medium. Your content, whoever is watching the channel, wherever they're watching it, you get to see the same content or same ad at the same time, right? In this case, what happens is this is the current scenario. A household is watching the same ad at the same time. But in this, with this new technology, you know, you would have, while rest of India is watching a promo, or a creative of promoting our own content, this consumer on Tata Play, eight metros, who's watching our high definition channels, will get to see an ad that is only meant for them. Right? So we've been in conversation, or in fact, you know, for the last couple of years, we've been trying to innovate and find a way to fulfill this, you know, customer need to reach out to the premium cohort of audiences in the eight metros. And the result is this collaboration with Tata Play. I must thank Harid, Harid Nakpal uh, from Tata Play and his team for enabling us, uh, you know, to be to put this product together. So where will this play? These are the seven high definition channels that we have at the moment considered for this uh, ad product. And all of these channels, if you look at it, Star Plus is the number one Hindi channel, Star Prava is the number one Marathi channel, Star Gold is the number one Hindi movies channel in the country, Star Ma, Star Vijay, Star Jolsha, all of these are in their respective markets, the number one channels. And we would have all of these seven channels for one single cohort of eight metros we, that will be delivering this ad for the advertisers. And how, is, how we believe this is going to impact the, uh, the brand and the advertiser? It is the big screen, ultimately. It is not watching an ad on your mobile phone and uh, creativity getting lost over there, attention not being there. This is on the big screen. Remember, professionally generated content that will guarantee attention and uh, memorability. Second is appointment viewing. What comes to your mind when you think of television content? Whatever it may be, what you must remember is, this is the content that a consumer has chosen to come and watch every single day. Unlike, you know, any of us sitting and binging on a content on a Sunday with no ads on it, where there is no opportunity given to a brand to reach out to that consumer. Here, they choose to watch the same co content every single day, same show every single day, and that is appointment viewing. And by design, television content is appointment viewing. And the third part is the targeting part of it, which is something that eluded television, you know, for a very, very long time. We have tried this a few years ago, over a decade ago, but in a different form. This time, we are bringing a new technology to enable targeting of premium audiences on linear television. Last, but a very important point, elevation of ROAS. I spoke about, I can't call it a myth, an advertiser believes that if you want to only target a metro audience, television gives that 900 million audience, and hence that scale is not required. It was also coming with a very high uh, ticket size. So this time, as you can control your spends, the ROAS elevation is also guaranteed. 
and how will we measure it? Today we have the measurement for uh, television comes as a different markets, different cuts. It is never an operator based. So of course we require a measurement mechanism and a partner for this. So this data is going to be Tata Sky panel data, Tata Play, I'm sorry, Tata Play panel data. It will be the basis of the campaign planning, measurement and billing. And cost per completed view is going to be the currency for this. And what are the numbers that really matter? All of us know that today if we have to do a TV campaign and it will require a minimum of a crore, it's a lot of money. So many advertisers are not able to come to television. Plenty of startups, plenty of premium brands, plenty of brands that are only available in the eight metros. A lot of D2C brands. They stay away because the ticket size is very, very high. In this case, your campaign can even start with just a five lakh outlay. And what would be your CPCV? It's a uniform rate across all these seven channels, all these markets at a 0.28 CPCV. A very, you know, competitive number. And uh, television, you know that it is whatever impressions that you deliver, it is all about completed views. And it is not about, you don't have to guess whether it has been viewed or not viewed and pay for something based on, you know, whatever uh, uh, perception that we have on those numbers. Very critical. We have a three level targeting that is already inbuilt in it. And what are these three levels? One is the geo targeting, which is the eight metros. These ads are only delivering the eight metros in the Tata Play high ARPU consumer cohort. Second is the behavior. Behavior is extremely important. You know, we have done several studies on attention. It really stands out that if a consumer is watching professionally generated content, the attention is you know, significantly different from when they are watching or, you know, flirting around with some of these, you know, user generated content that today that is available. Third one is the affluence part. I spoke about it, a 600 plus rupee ARPU consumer chosen to be on, on television, chosen to watch these shows on a day to day, on a everyday basis. This is the affluent audience that we are offering. And who is this ideal for? I've already touched upon it, certain categories I spoke about. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the most ideal product that is available today in the market or are getting unveiled in the market today, where the businesses, their business is from the top eight metros is greater than the rest of India business, number one. The brands that are targeting affluent cohorts from the eight metros, and the brands that have a very high ticket size products and services, and brands, very important, have chosen to opt out or chosen other mediums other than television. And what is the scope? You know, we are, we continue to work on how to improve this product, and we will soon have possibly expanded with additional channels from our network, number one, more high definition channels, in fact, you know, today also uh, we are, we've unveiled this for our Star Sports for IPL. Tomorrow IPL starts and we also have an ad product which is meant only for IPL Star Sports channels. In the future, as far as entertainment channels are concerned, we will be adding more high definition channels in this portfolio, to this portfolio. We are also looking at partnering with other DTH operators so that this cohort size expands. And the third point is, today we have only reserved a two minute inventory wherein our supply is about a billion and a half impressions. Once is two minutes, once we succeed at it, the conversations are currently on. There are pilot campaigns that are running, successfully completed. And one example is Perfora as a brand. We will soon be looking at expanding it into, let's say one million plus towns as well. Thank you.